This heat really stinks. Actually, when excavating a pharaoh's tomb, sphinx is the correct word. Okay, Professor, so flunk me. What is it, Professor Giza? Just a curse of horrible, violent death to whoever violates this tomb. <gasps> Surely you men do not believe such superstitious nonsense? Fortunately, we men of science don't believe it. You see? Nothing happened. No! I killed! You should have paid attention to the ancient curse! I won't carry a torch for anyone! Try to get rid of that dynamite! Uh, uh, dynamite? Oh. Yeah. Hmm, I've seen this symbol before. Being sealed in a 3,000-year-old tomb, they seem remarkably well-preserved. Yes, it must be the dry desert air. Well, doesn't the Nile look beautiful tonight? Don't change the subject, Bond. You and this entire group are guests in Egypt. One more such stunt at an ancient monument like that, and I shall cancel the rest of this field trip. I have an idea, sir. Why not just send Bond home? <laughs> oh, Trevor. But, Daddy, James was stopping a couple of nasty tomb robbers who were... Your father's right, Tracy. Mr. Milbanks, I promise to be on my best behavior from this moment on. Well... Just see that you are. James, why wouldn't you let me tell him about the tomb robbers? Because one of them left behind this black scarab, the symbol of that megalomaniac Pharaoh Firo. Somehow he got his men into that sealed tomb. I'm sure the Egyptian government would like to know how and why. I will tell you why. Because he sells our heritage to wealthy infidels like yourself. Whoa. Major babe alert. Welcome, Miss... Uh... Dawe. Cleo Dawe. For sure. Whatever you say. I am a student of Egyptology. I despise foreigners who invade our tombs and loot our treasures. Miss Dawe, I assure you that's not our reason for being here. That is true, Cleo. James and his companions are fellow students of yours and good friends of our country. If you say so, Professor Giza, but I still want to be there if you take them back to the tombs. James, we're waiting for you. Hold on, Tracy. There's something here. Ah, just as I thought. Hey, it's a map of a peninsula. What are these? Pipelines? Not yet. Dotted lines mean these are proposed pipelines. Pipes for what, IQ? I don't know. But if Pharaoh Pharaoh's involved, you best be prepared for trouble, James. With a couple of canteens? They look quite ordinary, don't they? But if I twist the cap the wrong way, it releases a capsule that turns the water into the most powerful acid known. 
people in the room below are going to be complaining about a draft. What do I do if I get thirsty? <laughs> Look for a soda machine, I suppose. And this is my sonic shovel that duplicates a magnitude 6 earthquake with one touch. I think you're on rather shaky ground with that one, IQ. Lastly, I have this. Your usual watch, but with one modification. A battery-powered circular saw that will cut anything. Which reminds me, we're cutting it pretty close if we want to see the opening of the money case. Shall we take the sonic shovel? I don't think Professor Geezer would appreciate our digging about. But I might want to dig about. <laughs> Luckily, those robbers did not break open the mummy case, so I took the precaution of posting guards outside the tomb and near the burial chamber. So in a few moments, we shall gaze on the mummy of Pharaoh Hibhura. He has lain undisturbed since the 18th dynasty. Look, Queen Nefertiti. <gasps> you... you know of Nefertiti? Oh, yes. She was the mother-in-law of King Tut, and a very lovely lady. Perhaps I judged you too quickly. Not too many foreigners take such an interest in Egypt's past. Not just her past, but her present as well. For instance, I happen to know there's a great little cafe in Cairo. Ah! <gasps> what was that? It came from the burial chamber. Impossible! Hibura is gone! I tell you, I saw it! The mummy walks! Ah! Good, good idea! Ah! <laughs> Maybe there is a curse on this place! Now, Phoebe, there's no such thing as a curse. Oh, oh, outran that, whatever it was. I wonder what this really does. I think it's that clever. And we may run out of oxygen before anyone comes to look for us. Hmm. It does seem that Hip Hurrah's vanishing act has brought down the house. Wait, James. These hieroglyphics say there is a secret passageway. Hang on, IQ. As soon as we find a way out, we'll bring back diggers. By the beard of the pharaoh, your life will be enriched. Beard of the Pharaoh. There appears to be a trap door. <laughs> We've certainly been enriched. It's Hippura's treasure room. Look at that golden chariot. That golden boat. That steel door. Steel door? What? The ancient Egyptians did not have steel. No. 
but they did have stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, thank you. Good grief. Is it Halloween already? You are strangers to my realm, so I will overlook that blasphemy. I am Pharaoh Firo. And you are... Bond. James Bond. And what, pray tell, is your realm, Firo? Look out this diamond porthole and see for yourselves. You are aboard the Subterranean, the world's first underground warship. Like the U-boats of old, my subterranean can tunnel beneath the Earth's surface at high speed, undetected. No doubt diamond drills and portholes cost you a pretty penny. Yes. So to pay for them, I have a truly big scheme, worthy of my ancestor, Pharaoh Hippura. Does your scheme have anything to do with that pipeline map I found? You will carry that question with you to your grave, young Bond. You despicable thief! You have stolen priceless treasures from your own people! Stolen? <laughs> These are my inheritance! After all, Hip Hurrah was my great, 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 If we stay cool, everything will be awesome. Uh, right, IQ? Right. Now, I've calculated the time it will take James to bring help versus the oxygen remaining in this tomb. There's just enough air for the five of us. Five? But there's six of us. Uh-oh. Now this is scary. Being sealed in here with Trevor. And don't forget the mummy. The mum? Uh, the mum? Uh, the mum? The mummy? I hear something. Don't you hear it also? Great, 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 great grandfather. God, get those accursed intruders! Oh. flows. We're going deeper. Look, there we are, tunneling under the Red Sea. James, these controls are for a pipeline. Of course. Firo is after oil. Quite right, young Bond. But right now, I am after you. I can tell you're really steamed. Trevor, you're breathing too much. I hope James gets back soon. <laughs> Asleep on the job. Now you will surrender, young Bond. I can't fight two snakes at once. A wise decision. When I drain all the oil fields, scum will control the world's economy, and I shall be the true pharaoh. You are mad! At you two, yes. So I'm letting you go. Right into the oil. <laughs> Bring us up to five meters, now. Spit upon the infidel who has done this. We are ready to pump the oil. Oh. And you will be in the pipeline. An execution worthy of a great pharaoh, don't you think? Actually, I find your methods rather crude. Our friend Firo has been living in the past, just as I have been. I wish now we had made plans for dinner tonight. I suggest we plan for the immediate present. That oil will be coming through at any moment. Quick! The oil! It is 
is getting closer. James, what are you doing? How could your canteen melt through a pipeline? You know what they say, Cam. Oil and water don't mix. What? The pipeline is leaking! We're filling with oil! Serpents! Remember, Cleo, when the subterranean surfaces, we make a break for it! All right, now! Well done, we are doing everything! We are escaping! After the new jackal brains! Looks like we gave him the slip. We must find help. Our friends haven't much time left. Dr. Giza, you mind if I cop a few Z's? I'm getting kind of sleepy. It is not sleep you need. It is air. Our yawning means we are running out of oxygen. Oh, too bad I dropped that shovel. We could have shaken our way out. You mean you mucked about with my sonic shovel? No wonder the tomb collapsed on us! Oh, I ought to do something nasty to you! Oh, don't try to frighten me, IQ, because I don't scare easily. Maybe those Bedouins can help us. Help you to find Allah. I see your point. Since you are the only infidel on this desert, you must be the one who toppled the tent of Sheikh Hassan. Oh no, mighty Sheikh. James is a friend. Uh, um, uh, well, if this is true, then who did knock down my tent? Pharaoh Firo and his subterranean sand vessel. Unless we move fast, he'll steal your oil out from under you. And I've got to rescue my friends. James speaks only the truth. Well, I would like to help. But how could you battle such an apparatus? I think I know a way. But I'll need transportation. Uh, perhaps we could take some of your camels. <laughs> you have been watching too many old movies, my friend. Take your pick. That's the last of it. Now prepare to die. What in the name of Amun-Ra is that? <laughs> oh, this gives me intense enjoyment. Oh, every man for himself! Nomads are no match for my weaponry! Fire one! Look out! It's a sand torpedo! <laughs> I just had a bright idea! Pharaoh, and just when you have company to... Oh, Jim, 
means your scheme worked. Not entirely, Cleo. First, we must set a course back to Egypt. Allow me. a breath of fresh air to the proceedings. James, look out for the mummy! No problem, Tracy. He's too wrapped up in his work. Who is that? Meet Firo's cousin, Viper. He stole the real mummy and tried to frighten us away from the tomb. James, we are like oil and water. Our cultures are too different for us to blend. But I would like you to have something to remember me by. Help! Bond? What's happened to Trevor? Oh, nothing, sir. I think he just misses his mummy. Thank <laughs> you.